Hi, I'm Donald Wade, and thank you for joining me for today's daily devotion. Our devotion today is from the Gospel of Luke, and it's titled, Jesus Heals the Gerasene Demoniac. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the eighth chapter. When they arrived at the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee, as he stepped out on land, a man of the city who had demons met him. For a long time, he had worn no clothes, and he did not live in a house, but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he fell down before him and shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For many times it had seized him. He was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles but he would break the bonds and be driven by the demon into the wilds. Jesus then asked him, what is your name? He said, Legion, for many demons had entered him. They begged him not to order them to go back into the abyss. Now on the hillside, a large herd of swine was feeding and the demons begged Jesus to let them enter these. So he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and was drowned. When the swine herd saw what had happened, they ran off and told, in, told it in the city and in the country. Then the people came out to see what had happened. And when they came to Jesus, they found the man from whom the demons had gone, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen it told them how the one who had been possessed by demons had been healed. Then all the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked Jesus to leave them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into a boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. So he went away, proclaiming throughout the city how much Jesus had done for him. The Gospel of the Lord. Hymn number 549 in the evangelical Lutheran worship is Send Me Jesus. Now, it's a really short hymn. In fact, it's only two lines. But the lines say this. Send me Jesus. Send me Jesus. Send me Jesus. Send me, Lord. I am willing I am willing, I am willing, willing, Lord. Now this South African hymn's first verse, Send Me Jesus, resonates with the same sentiment that the man Jesus healed in the gospel lesson. The, the garrison man begged to leave his home and, and join Jesus' journey. And the second verse, I am willing, well, that's, really the man's response to Jesus. He chose to willingly obey Jesus' command. Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. The man's obedient choice also reminds us of some guidance that South African Archbishop Desmond Tutu once said. He advised, do your little bit of good where you are. It's those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world. The man returned home to do his bit of good by declaring the story of how Jesus healed him. 
And God chooses each one of us, wherever we are, to share our unique gifts by doing our little bit of good. Let's pray. Jesus, please choose to send us and Lord, help us to be willing to obey you. Guide us to choose to share your love by doing our little bit of good wherever we are. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen.